Hey there game developers, it's me Titan Hex. I'm here with another tutorial, this time using RPG Maker MV's database. We're going to take a look at states. States are pretty much your status effects, positive and negative. They usually are things that are applied using skills or sometimes items, armors, weapons, other things like that. They are meant to last for several turns. That is the main point of a state. They l persist beyond typical uh, the, the typical game. The important thing to remember about them is that you can have them both inside and outside of battle. So remove by walking and remove by damage are both things that are possible. The poison state is probably one of the most notable states in almost every single RPG and even non-RPGs have some sort of poison state to, to keep in mind. We're going to go ahead and up the maximum here to 12. There's two important states to remember, the guard state, and you can change this if you need to, but the guard state is attached to the guard skill. And we talked about the attack and defend skill before, but it's just worth noting again that you can add the guard state. You add the guard state for anything that would allow you to defend. So I could have an advanced defend somewhere in here if I wanted to. So going back to states, we have the knockout state, which state number one will automatically be added whenever somebody's HP reaches zero. So this is basically what the game says when somebody's killed and the effect that it has. So the effect when you die in a party is that you don't gain any experience. You could always change this to make it so that you gain only 25% of the experience when you're dead. You could just make it so that you always gain experience when you're dead. However, you can, hmm. well, there, there's a few things you can do. You can get all creative with it, but for the most part, this is the only thing that really would matter in a battle. You can also remove at end of battle, which is one of the cool things. You can make it so that players who die at the end of a battle turn will come back and probably have one hit point left. It's a nice little thing that you can apply. Sort of manipulate your game, change it up a little bit. Now there is the immortal state. Resist knockout. Your basic, your basic uh, poison, right now it's set so that HP goes down by 10% every time this thing takes effect. You could change it to be something a little bit more forgiving. So just keep that in mind. If you want to make it so that the player's hit points uh, are decreased instead of it being a percent, you would have to manipulate a few things. So keep that in mind. Right now, there, there's you'd, you'd probably have to use some sort of plugin, unfortunately. Now we're gonna go ahead and create a new one. Uh, this one is going to be called Top. So there is a special parameter called target rate, and if the target rate is high, so we're gonna say 150%, you are more likely to be targeted by enemies. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a nice icon here. Um, there's there's nothing that's gonna be particularly great because the icons are extremely generic. But taunt here is going to make it so that um, there's no restriction. Uh, restrictions are basically what the player is no longer allowed to do. So in this case, attack an enemy would be something like berserk. Attack an ally would be something like confuse. Attack anyone is is something like a an all around confuse. And of course, cannot move means that the player is completely held in place, which is your typical. So we got rage, attack an enemy, uh, confusion, attack anyone. Then we have fascination, attack an ally. So the player is switching sides. Um, and then they have the silence, blind. So silence, skill, seal, skill, magic. Pretty cool little thing. Uh, they do not have a paralyzed one so we can add a paralyze it would be very similar to the sleep which is cannot move um, so cannot move 
And then the motion is how it's shown over the side view battler. So, huh. I haven't used this one that much. Uh, the, it, actually, never mind. This is your, <laughs> your side view motion. When you look at a character sheet for a side view battlers, there's a different set of um, animation frames that it uses. These are the animation frames it's getting into. So then you have SV overlay. There is a preset number of overlays that go on top of a character. In animations, uh, the game typically has some set. So poison would just sort of float over the, oh, no, not that one. Where is the SV animations? Hmm. Oh, well, they're somewhere in here. Uh, but usually when a state is applied, there will be an animation overlay that appears on top of the side view battler, making it look like they have bubbles flowing, floating over their heads, like the poison bubbles or different things like that. These are what we're looking at for this. So in this case, we would want something like paralyze. Um, motion abnormal. You have an abnormal status effect that's hurting you. Remove at battle end. And after a turn, after three turns, it'll be removed. Then you have taunt, which pretty simple. Um, actually, you know, <laughs> hmm. I could just make it so it seals the skill type, not the skill type, the skill attack. So I can make it so that if you're paralyzed, you cannot attack. Is paralyzed. So these three are basically when the actor is afflicted, it's going to say target name. If, well, you should actually, know, you should really know all this from the uh, items and skills, especially the skills tab. Um, just keep these in mind. Uh, every turn, uh, this will happen, but that's mainly the most unique thing. There, there, it should be pretty self-explanatory for you. And we'll choose a good one for paralyze, something like this. Taunt, we'll go back to taunt real quick. Uh, motion, none, because it's a positive effect. We'll make it so that you have the rage overlay, even though you can just do none if you want, but rage overlay seems fine. Remove at battle end. Remove by restriction. Uh, if you hover your mouse means that um, certain states can replace this state. If I believe if they have overlapping priorities, uh, this one will remove worse ones. So after five turns, the taunt ends. Or we could even make it the damage, taking damage, has a chance to remove the state. So ironically, the more you get targeted more, but you also do not... Uh, you, you get targeted more, and the way that the state's removed is you take damage, and there's a chance that it'll be removed every time you take damage. So you could have a, something like that. I'm going to go ahead and throw on a special perimeter for guard effect to be 125%, so that you want to guard after having this state applied to you. No turn in. Bam. So it's very simple. Uh, we just set up two states super simple super easy this is obviously a short quick simple tutorial as always thank you for joining in uh, my next couple tutorials will probably be over animations tile sets and system types and terms i'll probably have three more of those out and then we're going to jump right into eventing so be excited about that and then yeah that's it thank you uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe. I love to know what your game is doing, what you're looking to learn, what you're hoping for out of these tutorials. Thank you.
and I'll see you in the next one.